Well, good morning guys, and it is a beautiful morning as I start to record this. I'm actually recording this on Memorial Day weekend, and the reason why I want to get this video recorded is because I just happened to be going on my first official road trip of this year. Normally, I've, I've done made a couple of month of trips up to North Georgia, but thanks to the pandemic, I'm not doing as much traveling as usual. So this month is my first official road trip, and I'm heading to actually attending a Christian Writers Conference. For those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you know that each May, June, I attend an annual writers conference to continue to learn the craft, see friends, and pitch my writing projects to agents and editors and publishers. So, this is the weekend. I've got the car almost loaded up and I've got my water bottle ready to go. I um, got the car all serviced and topped off of gas, air pressure check. I got my, let's see, my survival bag for the week. And I am getting ready now to jump on my first interstate of three interstates that I will be taking to go to this writers conference up in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. And I want to, to start out by saying that this isn't just me going to see writer friends and hang out in the mountains which is one of my favorite places. Because be honest, to be honest, I'm not going to get to spend a lot of time outside in the mountains because I'm going to be inside taking classes. I'm going to be going to keynote sessions, listening to speakers. I'm going to be inside eating and hanging out with some friends. So I'm not going to be outside in the woods as much as I prefer to be. Which usually when I go to the mountains, I'm outside biking, hiking, explore, exploring, and doing that. But this trip is all about the craft of writing for me. So I'm going to be taking some short videos throughout the week and taking probably more pictures than you want to see from me, from the conference. So you'll get some pictures of some of my writing friends, some of the speakers, some of the craziness that goes on at this conference. You'll get to see some of the beautiful mountains that surround the campus. So I plan on doing my usual thing and including all those pictures at the end of this video. But this right now is just me jumping on, letting you know that this month I'm talking about the writing community. And it's really important. The writing community is important to me, not just because, I don't know why I'm leaning, not just because I get to learn more about the craft, not because most of my friends are within the writing community, but if you don't know it, the writing path is not easy. It's not as easy as just writing a book, getting public, getting an agent, and getting paid. There's a lot to it. Now if you want to go, even if you want to go self-publishing path, there's still a lot more that you need to do for writing. You, you have to know how to write, and I don't just mean spelling grammatical. You have to know about marketing. You have to know about Amazon for Amazon sales, Amazon analytics, and there, there are actually speakers are 
and teachers at this conference I'm going to that specifically target self-published writers so I'll try if you're interested in going to a writers conference to learn more about the craft, craft even if you are self-publishing I'm gonna put the information for this conference is the Blue Ridge Christian Writers Conference our Blue Ridge Mountains Christian Writers Conference. I'm going to put all that information at the end of this video just in case you're, you're interested. This is going to be my fourth time at this conference and my third, third consecutive year in a row going to this conference. So I'm excited to get on the road. I'm excited to get up there, see my friends, and starting tomorrow morning get up take classes and that's another thing about this class you this conference your schedule is jam-packed get up eat around seven o'clock then you got a morning keynote session around eight ish get out of that keynote session go to your first class then you get a little little slight short break then you go to your second class get out of your second class and lunch break lunch break Go back to another class, get out of that class, break, another class, get out of that class, dinner time, then you, after dinner, you go back to another keynote speaker in a group session. So it's, it's the, the days are pretty packed, you know, and honestly, anybody who's ever attended, attended this conference will tell you, for a four day conference, it just, it just boom, goes by so fast. It seems like it might be two or three days, but I'm really excited about it. So, and I'm, and I'm really excited to share some of the things that I get to experience and see on this trip. And for hopefully from going out from here, I'll have more in-depth writing topic videos that I can discuss whether it's screenwriting, blogging, article writing, fitness writing. I happen to contribute to a Christian fitness magazine so I'll be talking about that and I'm taking a class at this conference by one of my writer friends from here in Georgia who lives down near, near Savannah. She's teaching a class on writing for Guidepost Magazine. So shout out to my friend Julie Lavender. I can't wait to take your class. Look forward to seeing you and your husband there. It's going to be crazy. You have two Georgians up in there talking with this funny accent. And, it, and it, I'll tell you how funny it is. My first time at this conference in 2017 I was standing in line for something and this woman comes up she's just like excuse me I noticed your accent she's like you wouldn't have to be from Georgia are you and I'm like yeah I, I currently live in Georgia so turns out she's like introduced herself she's like yeah I live out near down near Statesboro so she was from Georgia and that's how I first met Julie Lavender back in 2017. Now here she is, a published author, and speaking at the same conference that we first met at. So I'm excited to go up, learn more from her about writing for Guidepost magazines. Uh, I think she's also teaching a class on maybe on writing for newspapers. I mean, lots of opportunities to find markets for your writing. Not just the golden rule in writing is you don't start your writing career by writing a book. You have to learn the craft. Learn the craft. Start out with a blog, writing for your local newspaper, writing magazine articles. That helps you tone your writing voice. That helps you learn the craft. It helps you get better at writing. So I'm. I I have been doing this now for probably. Mm, almost a decade 
you know, whether it's writing my blog, I've been writing my blog now for 16 years. And I've been contributing to online magazines, online websites now for the past five or six years. I've been screenwriting for the past mm, 18 years. So there's, there's lots of outlets, lots of places to start writing before you write your first book. And I'm, I'm excited. One of the things I'm doing at this conference is we get a chance to pitch our book projects to agents, editors, and publishers. And I'm actually meeting with a publisher I met last year who wanted me to make some changes to my book, which I've done. I spent the power of this year updating my book, making the changes she wanted, and I actually hired another writer friend from the South who is also teaching at this conference to be my editor for my book. She re-edited my book for me last year. So there's a lot that goes on at this writing conference. There's a lot of connections, a lot of networking. You know, I first my editor for my book, I first met at this conference back in 2017. My writing mentor whom I met through another organization is teaching and speaking at this conference this weekend. So the Christian community is strong. So if you're if you're wanting to go into a writing career, start small, do your networking, develop your writer's voice, learn the craft, and build your build your cheerleading team. I've got my writing mentor, I've got my editor, I've got a couple of other writer friends. I got my writing friend down here in um Georgia who also graciously I don't know what's my my neck, graciously contributed to my book. So that's the whole purpose of writing community to support each other and help each other on their writing journeys. It's a long path. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm I'm running behind. I'm getting ready to put a couple last bags in the car and pull out for the four and a half hour drive I have to go to this conference. So hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody's staying hydrated. I hope you're enjoying your summer spring break. I hope you're staying energized by eating the carbohydrates you need. Stay. Remember it's not about what you eat, it's about what you do with what you eat. I ate a good breakfast this morning. On the way to this conference I'm going to stop eat a small lunch, mainly no carbs, just protein because I'm just going to be I don't need the carbohydrates for energy I'm just going to be driving but that's the end so please 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 hit the like button at the bottom of the video and leave comments if you're trying to get into the writing a writing career whether it's screenwriting book writing article writing blogging whatever leave comments in the bottom box let me what know what let me know what you're trying to accomplish with your writing. Let me know what you're writing and what you want to know about the writing community and I'll try and talk to my many friends within the writing community and get their professional thoughts and perspectives and hopefully later this year get another video. I may even try and talk to one of my friends into doing like a um a Zoom video and have them on here and interview them for my channel if I can talk with them at the conference into being brave enough to work with me so that's one of the ideas I'm throwing around so guys please leave comments give me some ideas because this noggin is about out of them so until next month
Have a good time. Bye. All right, guys. Finally made it to Bruce Crest after about a four and a half hour drive. Now to go inside and get all register and then start hauling stuff up to the top of this building. This year I get to stay in Crystal because the other rooms were filled up. So <sighs> let the journey and fun begin. Enjoy the pictures and stay tuned. dessert night after the war night so I'm fortunate enough to be here with my writer friend from Georgia who I mentioned earlier the talented Miss Julie Lavender I want to talk to her about the writing community so Miss Julie what do you think about the writing community? You know what sometimes people like to say that the writing journey is a lonely journey and maybe it is while we're at our typewriter or computer but I, I couldn't do this without the writing community I love writer friends. I mean, you and I, we don't even see each other for like once a year. But yet we communicate often via social media or messages to each other. All these friends, it's so much fun to get their support. We share for each other. We boast on one another when somebody wins an award. We encourage one another. We might even ask questions to one another when something's going on. We say, hey, I'm stuck on this. Can you help me with this? I, I couldn't do this without my writing community. I'm the same way, especially the encouragement when you get to rejection. That's right, that's right. So that's that's why the writing community is important to me. Not, it's not just learning the craft, it's getting the support because believe it or not, rejection is a big part of the writing craft. That's right. That's kind of happened to us. And I love to tell people, I've heard one time at a writer's conference, I heard somebody say, don't see it as a rejection, see it as a redirection, and then it's an opportunity to submit somewhere else. And, and, and I, I try to encourage everybody that way because we all, we're going to get rejections. If we've not gotten a rejection, we're going to get one soon. It's just going to happen. Well, thank you for your time. Let's keep enjoying the breath, enjoy some snacks, and enjoy the ride. Thanks thank again. you. It is genre night at Blue Ridge 2022. Check out that view behind me with those pictures, with those mountains. And I'm going to swing around and head inside where we can see people marching their, across the stage in their costumes. So this is going to be fun. See you inside. So I have two individuals, Linda Gilden All and right, we're inside now. Before you leave so that you can this is the group set, so. Um, appointment. So it's Ivan...